The romantic relationship between two deaf people ended in a double tragedy on Tuesday morning. A former student of the Institute for the Deaf in Wooster broke into a female student's residence. He stabbed her to death before killing himself. This was the first time in the Institute's 137 years that a murder was committed on its premises. Just after five, uh, we were called out uh, because of an incident at the, the ladies' uh, race on, on the campus. Um, when we got there, uh, a, a former student of ours, he's not a student uh, uh, at the moment, um, uh, forcefully got uh, access to the, the, the ladies' uh, race and uh, went to the, this, this particular lady's room and then unfortunately uh, killed her and shortly after that or immediately after that uh, took his own life. The lovebirds had been dating for four years prior to their arrival at the institute at the beginning of this year. The 23-year-old man had apparently visited the woman at her residence on Monday night, seeking answers about the state of their relationship. We did suspend the classes uh, yesterday um, and we started working. We, we fortunate in that sense that uh, because of the services on the campus, we, we've got quite a number of qualified people, social workers, um, pastors at the, of the uh, deaf uh, church on the campus. So, so we, we're quite well equipped, not that we plan for something like that, but we do have the staff to, to do the in-house staff to do the counselling. I don't think any security uh, you know, could have prevented that. There, there, there was a relationship between them. The students' families were still making their way to Wooster on Wednesday morning. Nadine Teran, Wooster.